Now, a dramatic occurrence in Nairobi this morning. A police officer was caught up in a tussle with a taxi driver as he attempted to enforce the law. Well, the cab driver appeared to be engaging in a physical duel with the officer who had found his way into his car. Now, this case, coming just months after another, has reignited the age-old debate on whether an officer has the right to enter your car in case of an offence. Charity Mwangi has that dramatic tale. This police officer found himself in need of the very service he is to offer the public, safety. He had been trapped inside a taxi with a defiant driver with a seemingly short fuse and caught up in a push and pull. According to the Langata OCPD Gregory Mutiso, the vehicle registration number KCT730Q was involved in an accident early Thursday in Lovington. <laughs> David Karioki Kamurwa failed to stop even after being prompted by traffic officers. The officer, he says, was trying to bring the suspect to book. DCI has posted on its Twitter page that detectives based in Karen arrested the suspect, 41-year-old David Karioki Kamurwa, at Gekambura in Kikuyu. The car has been confiscated. Police say that a mobile phone, which had earlier been stolen from the officer, has been recovered. I have a valid license. Only two months ago, NTV highlighted a similar occurrence in which a driver recorded two police officers who had forced their way into his vehicle. Oh, sir, I have showed you the application. Police spokesman Charles Owino said the officers were in order. Well, the first thing people must have in mind is that police have those powers to stop, search, and detain any person, any vehicle, any aircraft, any vessel. But with the different and good reasons. Two, police officers have powers to arrest you without a warrant. You can arrest any a person, any person when he commits an offense which is cognizable. The actual owner of the vehicle has been summoned by the police. The OCPD says they have denied the police information that would help in locating the driver. Motiso says they may confer charges of obstruction of justice against them. Karioki Kamura is now in custody and it is unclear what charges he will be facing. Charity Mwangi, NTV.